What is up you guys, so today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to add constellations in your videos and this is something that Cameron Ehrman used in his Live Now 3 video. So we're going to try to show you how to easily recreate this effect. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link in the description that links you to this YouTube page where you'll see that this channel called Footage Island uploaded this royalty free footage of constellations and so basically to download this footage he does link it in his website but you do have to pay for it there so what you can also do is just go to save from net which is where you can copy and paste YouTube videos and download their whole video okay so basically we're just gonna copy and paste that YouTube video link and paste it on the top here and basically you're gonna go down where it has this blue underline and it says download video in browser and if you want higher quality um, you can go down below but you do have to pay for it so we're just gonna make this absolutely free so you can press that and then basically you're gonna have the footage and it will download so I have it saved to my downloads here okay so basically we're gonna go to After Effects and, and I just have the stock footage of a star time lapse that I found on the internet. So basically we can just bring that Plexus constellation footage in and then I like the ending where the constellations are a little bit smaller so I'm just gonna bring that forward and then cut it so that they're the same size. And then you're gonna make the blending mode for the constellations to add so that you don't see the black parts. And because the quality of this footage is smaller, I guess, um, you could scale it up, but it will ruin the quality. So I'm just going to keep it at the regular scale at 100. But I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and just follow the shape of the rectangle. But I'm just going to make the mask feather up so that it feathers the edges and then bring the corners of the rectangle a little bit in so that the edges of the constellations are not so harsh, I guess. Um, so it'll blend in better. better. Okay, then you want to go to layer and new camera and then we'll just make a new camera and press OK. And then we're going to just press the toggle switches and we're going to check the box for the royalty free footage and make it into that cube so it'll be like a 3D layer. So now we can go up and go to that rotating tool. Basically we can go back to our footage and we'll be able to rotate the footage very nicely. You can kind of make it so that it's popping out from the sky. I don't know, you can make it so that it looks cool because when it's just flat it doesn't look super realistic. So just make it so that it looks right and then I'm gonna command D to duplicate this because it only fits half of the sky so I'm just gonna move that to the right side and then use the rotating tool to make it blend in better as well. Okay, so now basically you have constellations in the sky. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-compose this and this is optional, but I'm just going to make this easier for me. Um, and then I, I'm going to change the blending mode back to add. And then you can just press the keyframe button for position at the beginning of the clip and then you can just slightly move it to the right, I guess. Um, you can just kind of use the keyframes to make it look animated so that it's not so fake. Because the stars are moving to the right, I made it so that the position of the constellations is moving to the right as well. And then you can also press that Q button again and you can just keyframe some of the orientation or the X rotation or the Y rotation to make it animated. I'm just going to move the Y rotation because this is the only thing that I think will look natural. So at the beginning of the clip, I'm going to press the keyframe button for the Y rotation and then I'm going to go to the end and then I'm just going to make it so that it's popping out from the left. I don't know, just make it so that it's kind of animated. So yeah, you can kind of play around with this effect and you don't have to use star footage. You can actually bring in other footage like how Cameron Ehrman used in his other videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.